Hi, I'm Chargal Lori. I have been a trader and technical analyst for the last eight and a half years. I'm going to bring you the market recap for Wednesday, October 23rd. You want to give me a follow on X at Chargal Lori. That would be lovely. As far as the economic calendar, tomorrow we have initial jobless claims and S&P Global U.S. Manufacturing Index. So today for ES and NASDAQ, we had a pretty big dip. We began daily consolidation. On ES, we had a pretty clean bounce from the 5,800 psychological level and the historical RSI level of 15 RSI from the hourly chart. And we're looking for an hourly lower high on this bounce. We are still in a daily uptrend on ES. However, on SPY, we lost the daily uptrend. We do have a nice long lower wick of bulls buying the dip. On NASDAQ, we did lose the daily uptrend and we are looking for a potential weekly higher low compared to 18,572. On RTY, we had a pretty down day. We are looking for a weekly higher low. And on the daily, we are bouncing from the daily 50 MA looking for a daily higher low from 218.15. On the hourly, we bounce nicely from the 2200 area, again, looking for an hourly lower high. On the Dow, we had a pretty big down day. On the daily, we've lost support. We are holding the 26 EMA and we're looking for a weekly higher low. On the four hour, we're looking for lower highs on ES, NASDAQ, RTY, and the Dow. VIX had a pretty big up day, as you can imagine, with the fear that entered the market. However, we did have a big dip on the next bounce. Bears will be looking for an hourly lower high on the VIX. Bitcoin, we are still in a daily uptrend. We have plenty of room for the daily higher low. Sorry about that alarm telling me to do this video. We have plenty of room for a daily higher low. And on the four hour, there's, we have a nice lower wick of bulls buying the dip. We are still looking for a four hour lower high on this bounce. Ethereum, we're looking for a four hour lower high on this bounce and we've lost daily support. We're at the daily 50 MA. Be interesting to see if Ethereum can hold this level. Ethereum was very heavy compared to Bitcoin today. The dollar continues its charge higher. We do have a potential four hour bull flag. On the hourly, we lost the uptrend. That's been the first time since well in 36 hours it has been pretty bullish and gold really took a dip today on dollar strength on the next bounce bears will be looking for a four hour lower high on gold oil the daily higher low is the more likely scenario we're closing with an hourly equilibrium And then on SMH, SMH really took a dip today. We lost this daily support. Actually, we, we held it last time I looked, we were within 34 cents of it, and that's where we closed. So we are holding daily support of 245.50 by 34 cents. So we have a daily equilibrium for now. NVIDIA has lost that daily 50 MA. We are still looking for a potential weekly higher low on AMD. I feel like I've been saying that for a week now. 12 hour has yet to get oversold. I've been waiting for that and we have not had that yet. NVIDIA had some news stories this morning. On the next bounce, a four hour lower high will be the more likely scenario. Uh, I was gonna say this could be the beginning of a head and shoulders here. The left shoulder's pretty sloppy, but again, we're looking for a four hour lower high. TSM held up pretty well. They had some news overnight. They're closing green, but they gave a lot back. They were unable to shake off the overall market weakness. And I wanted to look at SMCI. SMCI continues its weakness. We are looking for a potential weekly higher low. Compared to 37.30, they have earnings next week, something to be aware of. On the daily, we got that hard rejection from the daily 50 MA and we continue to drift down. Apple, we lost the daily uptrend. They had a news piece uh, by a, an analyst who analyzes Apple and he said that he anticipates a cut in iPhone production and that really hit 
apple hard you can hit see where it hit right here and we lost the low of the prior day we got oversold on the hourly chart four hour we're looking for a, a lower high on the bounce so reverse back burners will be in play tomorrow meaning we're looking for five and 15 minute overbought conditions for potential top fish tesla is soaring on earnings right now they had an earnings beat I think they had a rev miss. That's actually my exits on my Tesla dip buy. Um, so they had a rev beat and they are now into the gap on the daily. And that gap fills at 232.34. And we're pretty close to filling that gap right now. So Tesla had a beat on the weekly chart. We were looking for that higher low and a nice big move. This will be in play tomorrow with anticipated volatility. XLF closed pretty flat on the day right underneath the hourly EMAs. It's squeezing on the hourly chart as we look for that daily higher low. Four hour is pretty sideways. We need to get over 47.22 to feel a little more confident that that daily higher low could be set. XLV continues to just squander or waller is what we would say waller squander away bullish opportunities and waller around in its bearishness we are looking for a monthly higher low but the daily's not oversold yet the 12 ema remains very strong resistance for healthcare. netflix started a little more consolidation today if we look at the high to low from the earnings low to high we're still above the 0.382 retrace around $733, which keeps this consolidation pretty healthy. Microsoft, I just wanted to follow up on it. We were watching it yesterday. We got a good trade on it. It gave back a lot today. Compared to its peers, it's not terrible. We closed down 0.68. However, we did close with potential hourly bear flag. And then coin had continued down day today. Bitcoin weakness. We are looking for a daily higher low on coin. They had news of a data leak yesterday and we closed with a potential hourly bear flag. The other name was Mara. This was a name from this morning. It was a queen of the mountain trade that I shared with members and that was a great short. Looking for this short off this trend line with Bitcoin heaviness. Did have a good bounce into the end of day but unable to re-enter yesterday's range on this bounce. And then finally, DJT. DJT held up most of the day. We are in a daily uptrend, getting over the daily 200 MA. It continues to bring great volatility. We are closing with a potential 30 minute head and shoulders here. So just be careful. I like this name as far as volatility. It is bringing the volume and it is bringing the up and down moves for day trading opportunities. And again, it held up better than most today. And that is it for your market recap.